Folks, a quick question for you this morning, especially if you're um, an accountant in practice and you're running your own accounting firm. How do you handle price resistance or price objection um, or the need for someone to get into a bit of a haggling process with you over the price you're proposing to charge them? So the reason I'm asking this question is based on two conversations I had this morning, one after the other. Um, and I think there's three ways you can handle um, conversations around price. One is to immediately offer some kind of discount um, on the price you've originally proposed. Second is to dig your heels in and say, and say take it or leave it, this is the price. Um, or the third option is kind of somewhere in between. And there are pros and cons, I suppose, of each option. We tend to go with the middle option um, because we feel that, number one, um, the take it or leave it approach to me sounds very arrogant. And at the end of the day, um, th that's just dismissing people unnecessarily. Um, to me, it's down to an educational process, maybe going through the range of services and how your price is made up. Um, and bearing in mind that if you're saying it's going to be X number of hours, that's going to be a very difficult conversation for the client or customer to really understand. You need to be able to explain to them exactly what it is your firm's going to be doing, what way your team's going to work with them, um, so that they can start to see the real value in the services that you're proposing to provide for the, for the price you're proposing to charge. Um, the first option as well in terms of discounting, to be honest, is not a conversation we get into either. Um, what we tend to do is say, well, look, how can we work with you at a lower level of cost for you, maybe for an interim period, um, that will help you to um, continue to engage with us and maybe to build out the services in the future. Um, and at the end of the day, you have to be understanding for what the client needs and also where they're at at this point in time. So very quickly on the two conversations I had this morning, one is a startup business um, and based on the criteria we went through, we gave them a price. Um, they felt it was very heavy for their startup business um, and they wanted to come in under a certain level. Um, so I went back and had a quick conversation with them to explain that we can't discount it down to that level because um, that means that the quality of the service could be compromised and we certainly don't want that to happen and we don't want them to feel like they're being hard done by because they're getting a lower level of, of, of service than what they really want or need. But what we could do is offer them slightly different levels of service by allowing them to do a part of some of the bookkeeping routines and we'll show them how to do that um, or to simplify some things as well and maybe start the pricing at a level of a, a lower business rather than projecting it to the, the sort of medium sized business that they think they're going to get to within 12, 24 months. Um, so we're able to stagger this and agree to review it every three months as the business grows and then they can uh, hopefully feel confident in the services we're providing for them and confident in the relationship that we're building and take things forward from there. Um, you know, if you went out and booked sessions with a driving instructor um, and some of them do the sort of block booking, buy 10 sessions for a discounted price, but you don't really like the driving instructor, you're kind of all in uh, at the outset. I don't think that's a good deal. I think you have to be able to, um, when it comes to professional services, um, you have to be able to encourage people and bring them along the, on the journey you want to take them on. Um, so the first case was more of a, let's see what we can do for a three month period and review it. The second case was very much a client wants more services, but he was um, immediately going to sign but just had a few concerns around, around the timeliness of some stuff that's happened recently. Um, so we have to be able to give them guarantees and set out very clearly, and we've done this in graphical fashion, how the new service is gonna work, when we start doing something, what we need from the client, when we need it, when we'll deliver what we're gonna deliver, uh, and how to deal with anything sort of in between times. And we've got that laid out graphically for them as well. So it really all boils down to um, the human touch, um, despite the fact that we've got a lot of technology automating a lot of the procedures. Um, and it also boils down to good, clear communication. Um, people buy people. It's the, it's the old adage and it still rings through today. So I hope that's useful for some people and for some accountants out there. Um, and if anybody wanted to talk about that any further in terms of their own pricing methodologies and their own communication techniques, um, feel free to, to drop us a message.